<clears throat> okay. Um, for this week's history topic, I'm going to go over something very, very crazy. The most craziest and messed up election of the 20th century, as far as I am concerned. Um, this is the election of 1912, which is basically about 100 years ago. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to go over the basics of the election of 1912, and um, of course I forget to say, even though I say it every video, um, this is for week 26, July 28th to August 3rd. Okay. Um, the election of 1812, here's what you have to understand. You have to understand all the way back to the beginning, like during the primaries of the election of 1812. Now, in early, early or mid-1912, um, wait, yeah, I just realized I said 1812 back there. Scratch that. So anyway, in early 1912, you have um, the conventions and the, well, not the conventions, the uh, primaries. So, for the Democratic ticket, um, the governor of New Jersey, the Democratic governor of New Jersey, Woodrow Wilson, who was a former college professor, believe it or not, is chosen. For the Republicans, though, it's not so easy. The Republicans have two major candidates that want to run in the 2012, uh, not 2012, sorry, in the 1912 race um, for president. First, you have the incumbent president, who was elected in 1908, William Howard Taft. Now, Taft was supposed to be Theodore Roosevelt's successor, and um, he kind of didn't follow through Roosevelt's progressive platform and principles. And the second candidate you have um, in the Republican primaries is, of course, Theodore Roosevelt, um, who was president from 1901 to 1909. Um, he thinks that Taft is a waste. Um, he thought of Taft as, you know, I saw so much potential in this guy. I thought that he was going to follow my progressive ways. I thought he was going to continue my legacy. And here, what did he do? He just sat on his you know what and didn't do anything. Um, so, he runs for um, to be the candidate for the Republican Party. Um, unfortunately, though, the Republican establishment um, chose, like you know, behind the doors back then, and they decided that Taft would be a more safer and reasonable choice to the um, energetic and energetic cowboy of Roosevelt. I should say. So, in the end, Taft wins the nomination. Um, okay, what does Roosevelt do? Teddy Roosevelt does not concede defeat. Um, he concedes that he's not the Republican nomination, but shortly after Taft is nominated, him and his supporters leave the Republican convention, go over to this hall, I forget the name of it, and they formed their own party called the Progressive Party, or also known as the Bull Moose Party. Now, what the Bull Moose Party was, it basically continued with the progressive reforms and the progressive way. Like, if you look at the progressive era, um, this is what it's basically promoting, you know. Um, so what happens is, they formed this progressive party known as the Bull Moose Party, and it basically splits up the Republican Party. Um, so you basically have Wilson, who's the Democratic nomination, Taft, who's the Republican establishment nomination, and then you have this splinter Republican group that's run by Roosevelt, who that's known as the Bull Moose Party, and it's insane. On top of that, there's one more candidate, there's a fourth candidate that's a little bit known, but it's not well known than the Everfree. Um, Eugene Debs, he is the socialist candidate. Um, in the early 1900s, um, believe it or not, there are socialists in America. Oh my gosh, socialists in America? Yeah, who would have thought? Um, anyway, <laughs> Eugene Debs is running for the socialist candidate, and he actually gets a good enough percentage of the vote. 
Um, he doesn't win any like electoral college votes, but as far as popular vote, he does get into the thousands. Um, but anyway, um, besides him, there are only three major ones that everyone talks about. Um, you know, that's Roosevelt, Taft, and Wilson. Um, what happens is, it's basically with the Republican Party split up. It's basically here you go. Here's the presidency to the Democrats. You know, um, since you have a freeway race and you have two one party that split up, um, of course the other party is going to win. This is just like the election of 1860, except the difference is the Republicans are split up instead of the Democrats. You know, um, in 1860 the, the Democrats split up, but that's what the Republican Lincoln won. Um, in 1912's case, the Republicans were split up, and Wilson won. Um, a lot of people who don't like Wilson um, see Roosevelt as the main problem for his election. Um, some people say that if Theodore Roosevelt were able to win the nomination in 1912, you know, he probably would have won, or if you know, he would have conceded the nomination to Taft and not form his own third party. Um, a lot of people who are anti-Wilson think that the that there would be no Wilson presidency um, if that happened. So anyway, that's basically the um, basics of the election of 1912. Um, it is by far, I think, the most confusing election um, in American history, even more confusing than the election of 1860, and um, that's it.